Welcome to a demonstration of the new laser projection interface for NX Composites. Uh, so we have a simple layup here, and I'm going to go ahead and generate a laser projection file. So this uh, command will actually create a test later representation of all of the components in a part formatted uh, for particular machine vendors. So by default, we'll create an XML file. We also have the ability to transform this into uh, machine-specific formats for the various vendors that are listed uh, right here. So we'll leave it at XML for now. Specify the output folder that you're going to place the file in. Uh, and we can specify a coordinate system for, for export. So by default, it'll just be the absolute coordinate system. However, if your uh, laser projection machine has a known coordinate system available to it, you may want to create that in the model and uh, go ahead and specify the, the coordinate system to get exported. But we'll go ahead and leave it at absolute for now. So the reference points allow you to specify some calibration data. You know, depending on the machine, there may be some requirements for calibration to make sure that your tool is in the right location. So we'll go ahead and specify a few points there. And then the last option here is this maximum step length. So this one uh, allows you to basically uh, eliminate long straight segments, which you know the projection head would just skip from one point to the next. So if you wanted to insert additional points, you can turn that on and specify the, the length that you want to input points at. We'll go ahead and leave that off and run the export. All right, now that the file has, uh, the export is run, let's take a look at the data. So this is just uh, an XML file that has uh, all of the plies listed in sequence step order. Uh, you have, you know, various non-geometric information with the material. Um, you also have all of the all of the poly data. So this is the uh, tessellated information for the individual boundary points, where you have both an X, Y, Z, and I, J, K for every point uh, that gives you the normal information. That helps you know, make sure that the points are located in 3D space and that normal vector helps the laser projection machines uh, in multi-head cases make sure that they're going to the right machine. Then at the bottom of the file here, we do have the reference point information that was exported. Uh, so these are the calibration data that would, you know, depending on the format, may actually be in a separate file. Uh, but for the XML, it's all embedded in this one, in this one file here. So let's take a look at the geometry that was created by this little script to uh, run that laser data. So you'll see we have all of the points listed. Across the back here, you'll notice that there's just a point at the start and end. That's a case where you might want to have that maximum step length uh, inputted. And what you'll see along the boundary is we have all of these points get offset into space along with those little normal uh, curves that get created. Um, but that's uh, the results that then would be viewed by the machine. So that's it for this demonstration.